One of the biggest struggles that I have right now is trying to find a lot to operate out of. Where are we gonna house all our material? Where are we gonna land loads at? As you start up a new contracting business, it seems like a daunting task. There's a lot to do and it's the chicken or the egg philosophy. You don't know whether or not you should start with the ooey gooey metal or the shell. There's a lot of things to do and they have to be done in kind of an order. And one of the things that we thought we should focus on first is figuring out where we're gonna operate out of. Every area is a little bit different and it may be easier in some areas than others. But the first thing we thought we needed to do is figure out just where are we gonna, where are we gonna house all our material? Where are we gonna land loads at? Where are we gonna park equipment? This is my house, and we have no room here to do any of that. So the first step we chose to do, and what seemed like it was gonna be one of the hardest, is try and find a place that we can use for our business address. A place that will allow us storage area, a mailing address so that we can get on Google Maps, which is huge. A place where we can have our team members meet as we hire more people. A place where we can drop off material, store equipment, store trailers, load trucks all those things that we're gonna to need to do in our contracting business. The more rural you are and the more involved your county or your city is, the more restrictions they're gonna have. And St. Augustine is one of those areas where the, both the county and the city have huge restrictions on where you can operate out of. So we figured, you know what, let's go on a hunt for a place. So that's gonna be our focus this week because we're just gonna go and try and find a place. And it's not easy, I can tell you here. Not easy at all with a booming economy and a booming area with very limited space to find a place. So. This is our first turtle we figured we'd tackle. It's a very busy intersection, right by a new subdivision where that truck just turned in. So maybe a great spot. So we're gonna call those guys and see what kind of ground they have for lease and what the story on that is. Uh, there's also, down this way, we're gonna go talk to a landscape company that has a big yard and see what uh, the chance of maybe sharing the yard with them is. So I just stopped here at Yellowstone Landscape. Nobody's home right now, but you can see the reason I was looking is because if you look back behind me here, there's a lot of room. There's a ton of room. They're barely using any of the space that they have. Plus it's a fenced yard and it may work really, really well for sharing a place. Maybe they'll charge me a thousand dollars a month and. Maybe we have some office space. I don't know. We're going to find out because that's the kind of deals I'm looking for to try and help me get started. But unfortunately, nobody's here today. We'll keep stopping by and see if we can't get a hold of somebody. Because, yeah, that's a lot of space back there. That's a ton. And if I can get a cheap office space and a place to get mail, boom, that's what I'm after. So this is a lot. This lot was cleared and built and has been sitting idle. It was supposed to be an RV timeshare, RV park timeshare kind of thing. But it sits here completely vacant. So we need to find out who owns this and see if maybe, maybe there's an opportunity to rent a nice gravel yard. It's potential. Dock box, there's nothing in there. She vacant, abandoned. So this is the end of the very first week of me actually trying to get a fence company up and running. And if you can see in the background, I am at Ideal Aluminum here in St. Augustine. And I think one of the things that we should talk about is that when you're trying to do something, having a good solid network is everything. And that's one of the things that I've really learned is, is that if you can use your network of people that you know and groups that you're a part of, to help you get where you need to go, it's gonna make things a lot easier. One of the biggest struggles that I have right now is trying to find a lot to operate out of. I'm going to look at a couple more and I was able to learn about those because I talked with Ideal. And I was able to talk with Ideal because of another group that I'm a participant in. And so all those network connections are culminating and making it easier for me to get started because I've built a network. And that's one of the things that the AFA right here is a big, deal to me for is because it's helped me leverage a network you have people that can help me get where I need to go and help me find materials so things that I worked on this week is trying to find manufacturers like ideal because aluminum's big here in Florida how am I going to get my fence where am I going to get it from knowing people at uh, Master Halco and Stevens Pipe and Steel 
and merchant's metals to help get accounts set up there. So I've been working on all of that stuff this week, working on getting accounts set up so that I can uh, start bidding projects because I know what my costs are. Can't bid any projects until I know what the costs are of those materials. So I looked at a couple properties. I'm going to go back to Yellowstone landscape, see if I can meet with somebody there and see if there's a potential there to share a lot with them. I'm going across the street to chase those leads down. Was able to meet with the owner of Ideal Aluminum and he told me he's got an excellent commercial real estate agent. So I'll be talking with him to see what he knows, see if he knows of any stones that I could kick over to maybe find a lot with uh, either a barren lot or one with perhaps even a building. Uh, the big thing is I've got to have a place to drop material. Um, as we've talked before, I don't have any forklift or material handling. I don't have room in my driveway for trucks and trailers and equipment or material. So I've got to solve that problem before I can really start building fence. The goal is, is by the end of September to be installing some fences and doing things a little bit different. So we're going to be using the no dig method wherever possible which means driving postmaster post, driving steel posts if we're doing vinyl, and if digging siding if we have to do aluminum. I don't know a way around that yet. So join me as I try and get this thing off and running and I'll be as transparent as I can and answer as many questions as I can about everything that's going on. Um, the point of this whole entire exercise and why I've decided to take this on because I wasn't even sure if I wanted the challenge is to show people that it can be done and show people step-by-step -step process of how to get a company up and running. And it doesn't matter if you're a fence company or you're doing something else, the process is very much the same. And the big thing is, is you've got to be good at the business side of things, regardless of what contracting business you're in. So follow along as I make mistakes and grow this company from nothing to something. Until next week, you have a good dang day.